da 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 uh, we're doing a Marvel episode. I am your one of your hosts, Jacob. I'm here with another host, uh, Miguel. Miguel. And Gage. Hello. Woohoo! Oh, Wait, it's a me. Second. It's a me, a Hulk. <laughs> I was gonna say we're all gonna be doing Mario because I could do that. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, we learned that that one night. Were you were you were yeah, on? We you were on for that one. I was. Mar- um, Mario's, it's going to be like, the Mario movie is going to be just like, I am Groot. It's going to be the next I am Groot meme. I am Groot. I am Groot. It's me, I'm Mario. Yeah, so uh, this week, or yep. this past Friday, Wednesday, one of those days, uh, the newest Thor movie came out. Um, it seemed like it was panned by critics or some shit, but everyone seems to like it. I just saw it yesterday. Gage saw it the other day. Miguel didn't watch it. And that's okay. Yep. Um, uh, but we decided why not fucking talk about Marvel. So, um, this will probably be like what the first episode that's not entirely about video games. Woo! <laughs> yeah, entirely. Yeah, there you go. I mean, we'll talk a little bit about video games as per I know, usual. We are. <laughs> we'll we'll pepper in some some video games on top of the Marvel salad. Yeah, exactly. And what's good in a salad? Beats. Uh. uh hammers okay Lice. i'll take it i was gonna say bacon um, Bacon's good. Yeah. <laughs> duck um, tesseract okay oh, no. um, i was i was alluding to howard the duck uh, although i, I wouldn't oh okay i wouldn't eat that duck though no nah, he's gross. no he's probably all gross yeah he's probably disgusting um yeah, absolutely i don't think he cleans himself very much you know he seems kind of gritty He's got all kinds of space dust on him. And also, isn't it um, Seth Green or something? Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen. Oh, is it Seth Green? <laughs> <laughs> can you I guys, think it might be Seth Green. Can you guys do the uh, Seth Rogen laugh? Let's get your best Seth Rogen laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I don't know. Is that how he laughs? <laughs>, uh, <laughs>, <laughs>, <laughs> uh, I don't I'm know not. if that's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek the camera. <laughs> Miguel, you got you got one or no? You you can't handle it. I have no idea how he yeah. laughs. I don't remember. To be <laughs> just pretend <laughs> like. <laughs> just pretend like. <laughs> for your for your, that, or, that for your oral great. pleasure. That's incredible. Uh, just pretend like uh, you smoke so much weed that your uh, larynx you're is like completely is destroyed. At the same time? Yeah, you're choke coughing <laughs> all the time. That's kind of like the Cartman joke where he's like, you know, when you laugh so hard that milk comes out your nose. <laughs> they're like, you didn't even drink any milk, Cartman. He's like, what? It just it's what happens when you drink when you laugh really hard. <laughs> um, you guys remember that? You guys remember South Park? You guys remember that show? I I do remember. I don't. I remember the show. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've been on the South Park kick. Yeah, I've seen pretty much every episode, but um, on Paramount Plus, like last... it's on there. Got some. Oh, movies. is that where it is now? Yeah, they got some. Like now, they're just pretty much putting out like specials, like almost like mini movies and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, and the last one I saw was that pandemic good. special they did. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah, I, I had, fun I, I had that. a good time with that one. I thought it was cool that. The one, the last one I started watching, but I didn't finish, was like, I don't know, it was like also uh, all political like that, and it was like in the future, and it was kind of funny, and also, uh, it was like, uh, what's that movie, uh, Blade Runner twenty forty eight or whatever twenty forty nine twenty forty nine, great movie, when you which, reali- I, which was amazing. That was a very good movie. Oh, it was excellent, but you know how, um, um. The main character's girlfriend, uh, Anna de Armas, was actually just like Alexa or something, and that's the yeah. that's the same joke in the South Park movie I was watching, where like literally his his Amazon Alexa was like a projection, and he was just like chewing oh, okay. him out. Oh, I did see part of that. Yeah, yeah okay. it was Fair it enough. was cool, I guess. Well, that is definitely going to happen at some point. 
Yeah. Is uh, it, it, absolutely. Technically, Guaranteed. technically, it's already happening. Did you? Uh, aug- augmented reality. <laughs> I mean, uh, did you guys hear about this story about like the lady who married like a uh, um, like a body a pillow ragdoll? slash ragdoll thing? Yeah, and then had like the baby. Like had a yeah. ragdoll baby like wait, 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 at wait, the she hospital. Had a baby? Oh, oh so yeah, she she married a ragdoll, right? It was her like, mom did. Know. Her mom made the ragdoll. Oh sure, and then her mom made okay, mm-hmm. and she got like a smaller but almost identical ragdoll, and then said that that was the child of of the ragdoll and herself. So. Yeah. Oh okay. Uh, so she didn't like pretend to be pregnant and birth it, did she? Oh no, she, she technically pretended to be pregnant. Yes. But, yeah. Oh, she did. Yes to oh, everything okay. you just said. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. She, it is a Good full uh that's now if that's not augmented reality, I don't know what it is, man. That dedication is what it is. <laughs> uh, I, like, I walk around with Pokemon Go open at all the time and I just have a little Squirtle behind me and I'm like, Oh hi Squirtle and then it doesn't say anything back to me. So I'm very Squ- lonely. No, it would say Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> Why is Squirtle from like New York or like New Jersey? Cause that's what I always squirtle, notice. Squirtle, squirtle. He's like, squirtle, yeah, squirtle, squirtle, squirtle. I'm taking the A train, squirtle. Or the it's D just train. Bad B train? <laughs> D train? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, voice acting has really come a long way. Anyway, we're sort of off topic. All right. um, um, <laughs> what? Did, wait, didn't we have an outline for this episode? <laughs> yeah, we did. Your shirt in the other in the other window here. Let me bring uh, that shit up. So we're gonna we're gonna call that last segment housekeeping. Oh no no that's all part of the intro. That's just intros right there. No no yeah, that was yeah. housekeeping. No no. Well I gotta tell them where to find this show on YouTube later. All you gotta do is search Odd Valley. Or you nice. can watch or you can watch this show live if you're watching a recording of it later. Twitch.tv slash Neon Pocket Dimension. Uh, also oh, yeah. maybe we should explain what the hell the Neon Pocket Dimension is. Gage, what do you got? Uh, the Neon Pocket Dimension is a place where all nerds are welcome for you to nerd out on whatever. It's a it's a dimension inside someone's pocket that is full mm. of nerddom. So nice. have at it. Uh, and uh, I got something in my pocket, and I really <laughs> want you to know. Um, uh, <laughs> also check us out on check us out on Twitter at uh, uh, NPD Squad. Yes, baby. Just search search Neon Pocket Dimension will come up. Also, also adults, not just baby, just you know, just letting yes. you know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what else. Uh, what other housekeeping we have? I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. It's a yeah, punchy. It's a good. punchy Wednesday. Yeah. Punchy wacky Wednesday. Yeah, Absolutely. you know what? Um, I'll tell you what, man. This morning I had to get up for a doctor's appointment after seeing Luke or uh, after seeing Thor last night. Mm. Um. And so I stayed up pretty late, and I only got like four or five hours of sleep. So I'm tired as fuck. Uh, but I got this Red Bull, and hopefully it's enough energy to get through the episode and to also okay. play some games later. You know, I'm also kind of mad I don't get, I didn't get my uh, Overwatch 2 beta code like everyone else seems to be getting. So I just want to throw that out there. Blizzard, what the fuck, man? Where are you at? Where are you at, Blizz? Yeah. But anyway, I digress. Um, Onward. Next thing I have is uh, Winbu or Wib Wibnu. Yeah. AKA AKA what you've been nerding out on. What you've but been? I think we should start calling it Wibnu. We could Wibnu. I. It's like it's a variation <laughs> on Weibo. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I'm cool with that as long as you uh, make the Y like a hard Y. Wibnu. Uh, Wibnu. Okay. Yeah. Wibnu. Wibnu. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> wipe new it sounds wipe. like a sounds like a zoidberg style uh yeah, a bit villain you know <laughs> uh so wipe new. i guess then i'll posit this question miguel what you been nerding out on this week man i've been uh wipe newing uh <laughs> nice uh a bunch of like just weird movies i watched a cool. movie on netflix called raw Raw? It's supposed to be like, yeah, Raw. Like R-A-W. R-A-W? Okay. R-A-W. It's a French horror movie Ooh. where a uh, vegetarian is forced to eat raw meat and she starts kind of eating people. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, it's, it wasn't what I, I expected. It's not bad, but yeah, it was 
if you've got nothing better to do and you want to throw it on in the background, it's definitely worth it, worth a watch. Nice. I watched it while I was working out, so. But it was interesting. Let's get the trailer up while uh, you continue to speak. And then uh, speak. I threw up, uh, what was it, Deliverance yesterday, because I've never seen it. Oh, I've never oh, seen Deliverance, nice. actually. So I, I've, I'm in, like, the first probably, like, half hour into that movie. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I feel like if bad things are going to happen to them, I don't feel bad. <laughs> ah, yeah. it's like They that. just kind of come off like, like jackasses at the beginning. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah Johnny, sure. Johnny Knoxville. I'm just waiting for things to happen. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. And, and Skyrim still. I beat Skyrim, technically. Oh, nice. did you you beat the main storyline? I beat the main story, um, and I just have the two expansions. Ew. Look at you and Parthenax are doing your thing. Ew, yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is still the trailer to Raw, by the way, that we're uh, playing yeah. in the background here. Um, Looks Whoa. like an interesting movie. Sure. Like I said, if you got something not, if you got don't have anything going on, you don't want to watch anything else. It wasn't. I I was I I was pleasantly surprised. Nice. That's a that's another French horror movie about eating humans. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Delicatessen? It's a pretty good one. Delicatessen. No, it's, it's it's a French horror movie about uh like a you know like a a delicatessen that all their meat is um is, is human. Oh, yep. it's people. It's people. Oh, whoa. It's getting kind of freaky over here. Wait, it's it's a pretty on. dark movie. It's getting kind of freaky. And then, so there's a lady oh. playing a cello. Okay. And then people That's are... That's always hot, right? People oh, are fucking... doing it on definitely. a there's definitely, there's shitty definitely mattress. And... Is this even a trailer? This is like one of those trailers where it's just like a section the of the movie. movie. Yeah, it feels like it. Whoa. Um, It seems kind oh, of... Something's painting real hard. Seems kind of surreal. Yeah, I didn't it's like that. surreal. I didn't like that. So I think it'll be a good horror movie. You know what I mean? Mochi doesn't like Mochi Squeeze doesn't like it either. She said yeah. that is disgusting. So there you go. <laughs> she doesn't like disgusting things, but I love disgusting things. Like um, what's wrong with disgusting things every once in a while? You know, drag me to hell. That's, oh, that's a good movie. Great fucking movie. And she's yeah, like, absolutely. no, I can't. Is that a Sam Raimi joint? Oh, you know it. Nice. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Ooh, huge recommendation. That's my endorsement. A little early, nice. a little early, nice early. in the night later. for the yeah. endorsement section. But sorry, Miguel. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, was that it for your nerd? That's pretty much it. What, right your now, your wibe new? What, my wibe new, yeah. <laughs> my weeb new. Yeah. Okay. Weeb new. Wibe new. Weeb new. Um, new. Well, we'll What's we'll the get... correct pronunciation. We should probably <laughs> nail that down now. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Cause... We'll let it. We'll let it shape. You know, Look. There's gonna be the. There's also like you know there could be like the verb version like I'm wife knowing I'm wife knowing wife knowing mm. who knows. Well, then you would. You, know. you would that mean what you've been nerding out oning? Oh, that's true. <laughs> but 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 you're using it as a like as an action. Or, yeah. Or you yeah, just take the yeah. W out and then it's like I'm knowing. I'm knowing. You've yeah, been I've nerding been, out on Ning. Yeah. yeah I've been, like, <laughs> bro, this is I've getting been, this is getting kind of fucking weird. Yeah, it is. We're I gonna, love we're it. Gonna jump out of this. I love it. Weird is great. Moving on. Um, <laughs> I, did you just say Punani? I said moving on. I can say Punani. You say moving on. What does that stand for? Moving on. <laughs> moving on. I'm sorry. I can. Acronym. I could just yeah. keep this going forever. Gage, what you been nerding out on this week, man? Wipe newing. Uh, let's see. I have been nerding out on wipe new. Well, I mean, it was really wipe just new. it was really just last night, but uh, uh-huh. but I I uh, I succumbed to my uh, earthly desires and I uh, got the Fortnite se- season battle pass. Oh, so, so you I've bought been, it? You uh, bought well, the battle I, pass? No, no, I bought it with with um with V Bucks that I had accrued from before. I didn't like spend money. Ah, uh, I see. Cool. Um, yeah, I typically like end up like finishing a season of Fortnite with like m- enough money to buy the next battle pass, but then I'll like I skipped like the last two seasons, I think it was. So mm. um, I just fell off because I was playing things like Halo and other just other like had other multiplayer fixes. I think Forza before that. So it was like um, yeah, I just hadn't hadn't jumped in in a while. So I had actually never played no build mode, but I did one round of it last night. Well, well, first of all. I got level 100 in season two of Halo, 
Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck, now what do I do? And I was like, um, so I was like, I'll move on. I'll, I'll, I'll jump back into Fortnite and check out what the snow build mode is about. And it could have all been bots because I know they do that for you. But like, I, I have before been pretty high ranked in, in, um, in Fortnite. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they were bots or not, but I got like 15 kills my first, my first game. So I was like, Oh damn. Oh, I was like, Oh shit. I should probably play another round. That was pretty fun. And after like three rounds, I was like, all right, I'm buying the battle pass. And so I did. Sweet. Um, Anyways, so we'll see. I mean, uh, it, no build mode is, is really, really fun. So I've been having fun with it. Oh, it's yeah. so good, dude. It's so freaking good. And uh, I'm always like pleasantly surprised when I jump back into Fortnite because I'm like, oh, shoot, I have like a lot of cosmetics and stuff like that. So I just have fun like playing different rounds as different goofy combos and things like that. And, um, <laughs> well, what do you got? You know, it's all... what, uh... oh, I've got? I don't know. I mean, I've got like a lot of just like proprietary stuff. Uh-huh. Like what? Um, uh, I have to like look at my thing. Um, I I usually play as like cool ninja people, or like, um, I've got like you know the aliens from a couple seasons ago is pretty decked out. I've got. Do you have like any like brand name? You got like Master Chief. You got. Like, I got Master uh... Chief. I got Mandalorian. I all got. Right. Um, yeah. My Mandalorian's almost all decked out except for one shoulder pad, which is kind of annoying. Um, Weak. I've got. Yeah, it's kind of whack. I've got Deadpool. He's cool. Wow. Um, you got some skins dude i got like you i'm got... i'm like the default like lady or whatever i'm like i probably have like i probably have like 40 plus skins yeah cool it's, yeah i don't know i just that whole game for me is just about doing challenges to like unlock unlock people pretty much so i don't know my whole uh, my whole point of playing that game is just squatting up with friends and just trying to get the w you know what i mean for sure yeah i uh for a long time like when or right when it came out on switch I just went on there and cleaned up because people mm. were really bad on Switch for a while. So I like the first like oh, two yeah. seasons it was on Switch. I was just like slaying and praying. So fun. I remember when it came out on Switch, like it was so laggy, and I was because I was playing in handheld oh, mode yeah. and everything, and you know, it was like I just died, and I was like, I'm never playing this stupid ass fucking game again. <laughs> and then they finally came out with no build, and I was like, finally a mode I can enjoy. I do not yeah, want I, to build in this I, game. I used to just play build mode, but and just refuse to build unless I was like going up a slope or like, um, you know, trying to like jump down a really steep hill without getting damage or something like that. But yeah. otherwise, I would never really build. Like, certainly never fast enough in a battle to build. Like, maybe if I was like in a big open field and someone was sniping me, I'd put up some shit so I could run away. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I just remember like you'd get into those final like two or three people people just build these giant towers and just like i just don't like the dynamic of it it's not even that i couldn't like figure it out yeah it was just like i don't want to just like hide in this thing and then most of the time what i would find out is like if i spent a bunch of time like in one of the like parts of the circle and built some big ass base Mm -hmm. like and spent like five minutes doing that then like you know someone would just come along and like just blow me up or something yeah well that was pointless (laughs) you know i don't know yeah, and I feel like every time you get in a firefight, like some kids just like building some stairs and a wall here, and like now I have to walk over there. And, and you're in no build mode; you just fucking shoot them, and that's it. They die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I right. feel like people are. What well, is all this extra shit? You tell yeah, me I gotta like. I just want to shoot people. Yeah, you tell me I gotta take like a weird pickaxe or whatever the fuck that, and like smash a car, and I'm like, what? This isn't yeah, Minecraft. That's one of the reasons God, I, I hate never this game. played that game. Yeah, dude. Yeah. No, no build mode now, Miguel. It's totally a hundred percent. Like, you should play it. You should play it. We should play it's it together. It's just a free for all, right? At that point, it's yeah. just a shooter. It's just a big battle royale. Yeah, it's a battle royale. The, the, yeah. You know, the 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 fundamentals of Fortnite, like the shooting's fun. The guns yeah. change mm-hmm. up a little bit every season, but they're always pretty like standard. Um, it's very dynamic like, over time. Yeah. Yeah. And the map is cool. Like the different sections mm-hmm. of the map and how they change is always fun and interesting. Like, yep. I don't know. It's 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 just a well mecha- like well oiled machine of a game for sure. At this point, I almost yeah. feel like like I missed the boat on that game. Sure. Like like I was too old when it came out because <laughs> it came out and I remember the person I saw playing it was probably like thirteen or fourteen. Of course. Oh yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> kids like that shit. That, that's just me. The kids do like that shit. Same same it, with uh, Minecraft. I will say right, it has yeah. that, that that illusion sometimes, and it, and it's not that it's not true. That's definitely warranted, but it, like it yeah. is fundamentally like a really well, yeah, it's fun crafted game. Like it's like 
like the the love and care they put into every season is always like it's kind of one of those things where you're like oh like big giant epic making a gazillion dollars all the fucking time and mm. like microchains apps and accents up the wazoo but like every time i jump in i'm like i can't really hate them they're kind of kind of nailed it I don't but know. that doesn't so. it doesn't really affect the gameplay like in like exactly. again no build is like it's straightforward you just you know you get in there and it's a battle royale you know like miguel i don't know if you know like a lot about battle royales but essentially you just dropped with nothing and then yeah. there's just like loot everywhere and you run around and you just kind of try to gear up and, and kill people and you can squat up. You're not like, like old, like the old, old, uh, battle Royale games. Like, uh, Oh my God. What's the name of that? Uh, old, even before PUBG, it was like a mod of a game or something. And all those were always like single, but like uh, these Daisy, days, yeah, it was like, I think it was Daisy or it was like, H1Z1 or something. Oh yeah. So I don't remember, man. It's been well, a while. H1Z1 was a mod of Daisy. Yeah. Okay. It everything is a mod upon a mod upon a mod and and <laughs> well, then course. it becomes its own software. That's just like how games these days are it became a lot of whatever. Them. But like the especially the competitive ones, I think. Absolutely. Like, you know, Dota and yeah. all that stuff, Dota. but um Dota, yep. <clears throat> but the cool thing is like you can squat up. So like the three of us could hop up hop into Fortnite as a team of, you know, in in a game where it's just like only three three team like three people per team per team on the whole map, you know? And so it's like, I don't know. It's fun. Uh, but yeah, fuck building. <laughs> I want to do it. I like building That's the moral in games. Of the story. Fuck yeah. Building. I like to build in games. I just don't want to build in the battle royale. Yeah. Does that make yeah, any sense? I agree. I, 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 that, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Like it seems like a mechanic that, why is that even in there? Precisely. All um, right. Uh, well, what have you been nerding out on, uh, Sir OM Jesus? Oh, um, let's see. What have I? What have I been doing? I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. Nice. Uh, fun game. Uh, I have to say, it is very much a JRPG, for better or for worse. At times, uh, there was a moment where I died, and I lost a hundred thousand yen, uh, which sucked because I didn't know when you die in that game. Uh, you lose half your money, whatever the fuck you have on you. But, is that a damn. sequel? Uh, technically, it's well, it's a, I would say it's a game in a series, but it's more like a spin off. But it's still like the next game in the series. You know what I mean? In the in the so you series, okay. Could okay. say it's a sequel, but technically, it doesn't involve any of the characters like, or any of the stuff from like the old games. It's like a whole new oh, like, okay. set of people. It's only Yakuza Seven, right? Or, or right. Six. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Those games are fun. I'll say oh, that. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed the shit out of the first one. Yeah, yeah. And um which by the oh, way totally worth your time in my opinion. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and uh they just brought Kiwami one and two back to Game Pass, which is cool. Which Kiwami one and two are essentially remasters of the first and second yep. games, kinda like, you know, redid for modern consoles. Uh, but I started with Kiwami one and I was enjoying it. Uh, but then, you know, game pass, there's so many fucking games to play. So I moved on to another game and then they pulled it off and I was like, ah, that sucks. And then like a dragon came out and I tried it out and I was like, this is cool, but turn based and I don't know. And now I'm just kind of like, all right, I just want to beat it. So I'm playing it and it's pretty fun. Uh, it's a little, I mean, it's a JRPG, so it's long. Um, there's like a lot of storyline stuff going on, but it's still a Yakuza game. So it's very goofy. Um, and like, it's funny. So I'm playing this game and Mochi Squeeze is sitting on the couch next to me and I'm just doing the side quests right now. Right. Well, right now, I mean like that's what I was doing yesterday. I was playing a whole bunch of, uh, I was doing like every single side quest I could possibly do before moving on to the next thing. And like so many of these side quests, Mochi Squeeze is like, ew, that's disgusting because like, <laughs> Because what's happening is, like, weird and gross. And, like, one, the one in particular I can think of right now is, like, you go up to this, like, essentially there's a river, right? And there's a railing. And then there's, like, someone complaining. And so you go over there and you listen to it. And it's a lady. It's an older lady talking to a, a policeman. And then she's all like, oh, yeah, the river's going to be yellow at this point. And then you realize because someone is peeing in the river just out in the open. Right. Uh, okay. And so the cops like, okay. Hey, I need some help, man. I'll pay you or whatever. I'll make it worth your while. If you help me find this, like this P guy. And so like you leave the area and you come back and you see like the, you know, like you see on the map, like a little, a little chat box. that's blue, you know, like 
exactly where to go for the side quest like conversation to continue, which is cool. Good quality of life stuff there. Um, so I come back to the same area and then it's like four different guys lined up and like their backs are to you and they're all kind of slunt slouched and like <laughs> I'm holding my dick and peeing like position. Yeah. And then the cops like, all right, you have to figure out which one it is. And so like essentially based on the, uh, based on the stance, uh, you have to pick the right one and I'm looking and they're all, they're all pretty convincing, but there's just one particular guy who does the little shake every once in a while. And I was like, that's the guy. And I fucking picked it right. And I was like, wow, attention to detail, man. Cause you know, you got to shake, you got to shake it. Oh, just absolutely. Shake that. So that's you know, I love that get game. those drip, that driplets like, out of there. Like the game I played. Yeah, it's great. Oh, there, there's a lot, awesome. there's a lot going on. on there's like, a lot going on in that game. It's, it's again. It's, the game's called the Cuse Like a Dragon. It is on Game Pass. So if you have it, give it a shot. Um, nice. But there's a there's a, th- a mini game in there called Dragon Cart, and it's just a cart racer, <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. awesome. And all That's the people cool. you're cart racing uh, in the city are like funny and weird. Uh, there's what's the other mini games? There's like one mini game where you have to like pick up a bunch of cans to recycle because you're like that was at the beginning when you were like essentially a homeless person and that was kind of weird um yeah and like all the enemies are fucking strange like it'll just be a guy with this you know like a sign thing on his front and back and then when you battle him like they you know there's like have a lot like a lot of defense like they're wearing armor you know or like there's this one guy that's like basically it's like a trash bag and you get close to it and it essentially a dude Poisons. is inside the trash bag and he like kicks oh, his weird. legs out and his head out and he's like doing this, but his arms aren't out. And it's like, it's almost like a mimic kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so weird. But, but there's nothing like supernatural game. really about, about the premise no, or anything. No, like that. Yeah. no, not at all. It's just that the main character Kasuga, uh, Ichiban Kasuga, he, uh, is really into dragon quest. And so like, I've a, heard that. Yes. Yeah. And so essentially like you're seeing the world through his eyes where he's like basically, oh yeah, the world's an RPG. And you know, you can imagine like probably from another perspective, it's just whatever, like regular. But then like every fight you get into, it's like turn-based. Um, it's not like random battles. Like you can see the enemies and yeah. like like essentially like normal Yakuza, you'll see like enemies like with almost like that cone of sight. And when you get too close, then they'll attack you. Same thing happens in this game, only it's like it becomes a turn based battle and that's kinda how it works. The only thing oh, I okay. the only thing I have about this game, like weird things, is like it does kind of stick a little too close to that JRPG uh formula, like which affects its quality of life a little here and there. Like that loss mm-hmm. of yen issue I had because yen's pretty important. It's how you do like most things in the game. So like the fact that I lost all that yen just because I died, and I died in a stupid way. It's like it was a it just an enemy who ended up being like way too strong, even though the level was appropriate. He was just like randomly fucking way too strong, and like there are weird difficulty spikes with like bosses and stuff that are like kind of annoying and weird. And I'm not exactly sure like what I should be doing. Like sometimes when you're attacking enemies, like every hit will be like a resist and then you do barely any damage. So I'm like, I don't know what the fuck, how do I bypass this resistance? It doesn't really Did, give uh, you enough tutorial. You're playing a Japanese <laughs> game, friend. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but, but I realized that like, Hey, if you try different they make jobs, you work for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They make you work for it. So I would say my advice to you, if you are playing a and you're finding it difficult, um try try like switching up the jobs of your characters like it may be that like oh a damage type that you didn't realize you should be using you know is what you should be using or something and i think i feel like that's good because like one of one of the jobs is like a host and like they shake up a fucking bottle of champagne and blast them but does like cold damage instead of physical damage oh that's so funny stuff that's like that cool. right <laughs> so like just like experiment more. it sounds cool it yeah cool. it's a fun game like the story is like it gets a little bogged down like the very beginning is really compelling uh the story that gets you started is really cool and then like the next like seven chapters are a little like okay what the fuck are we doing but then it starts to kind of coalesce and uh and work out toward the end and now i'm at the point where i was like playing at work on xbox cloud xbox cloud streaming with touch controls right Whoa. at work on my lunch today 
just to kind of get through a scene and essentially because it's jrpg there's like a like long cut scenes a lot of talking and stuff but i even did one battle which was cool but it's be, like i did that because i was like i, I kind of want to know what's happening next because like nice. it's starting cool. to heat up so i i recommend the game you should play it Heck fun yeah. times Pretty also awesome. also as a uh what's it called a uh, segue i saw thor love and thunder last night um Gee, uh... And I all I have to say to the haters, it's a good movie. Fuck you. Nice. Come at me, bro. Uh, was it funny? Yeah. Hilarious. That's all I want from it. Yeah, I, I, I oh. didn't need much more. It was very Taika Waititi humor. I mean, so as yeah. long as yes. you, as long as you're into that, a little bit drier, like a little bit more, just like it's goofy and kind of cheesy, but like in a good way, I'd say, and um, self-aware in a lot of ways. It's 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 pretty pretty all time. It's definitely a rom com. <laughs> For sure. That's exactly what I hmm. wanted, to be honest with you. Just funny. Rom-com is... TV, so. <laughs> Rom-com, Rom-com is an I'm interesting way to put it. I... Well, I mean, it's definitely a, it's a... it's a. I would say it's a rom-com in that there's, like, love triangles there. Yeah. It's very much like... I mean, like, the, the only thing... The only criticism I have of the movie is kind of... Um, it, it feels a little bit like it shoehorns in the serious tone of Gore the God Butcher, which is very much, like, not yeah comedic and it's like supposed to be really tragic and kind of serious and i feel like that's kind of like marvel being like hey this needs to be part of the movie but like really you know yeah i don't we're not spoiling anything obviously so it's just it uh that part of it is the only part that i'm like this doesn't feel like it but if it didn't have that element i feel like this would just be like a romance comedy superhero movie right i mean yes to i i mostly agree with that but um I feel like the the serious stuff was executed well enough. I think what's going on with this movie is that it's short. And I think that's a good thing uh, in a lot of ways. But, like, I don't know. I mean, like, you could do a whole thing on gore. You know, gore could be, like, uh, someone they're battling over the course of, like, you know, movies and stuff like that. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Because he's got, like, a cool story and whatnot. But you could say the same thing about what happens with... Um, no, no spoilers, but one of the other characters, uh, because there's oh, a okay, yeah. there's a full comic run, like an entire like run of comics about that character um, that they're executing in like a ninety minute movie. You know what I mean? But the yeah, thing, yeah, totally. And so they sort that's sort of a drawback a drawback for this film. But I also feel like they executed it well enough where they got everything in there, and it's still like it's hitting that ninety minute mark basically. Uh, and so you're not stuck in the movies forever. Um, we you're still getting like the gist of the story. So I don't know. I feel like they executed that well, but we're here for Taika Waititi and his, uh, and his humor and, and all that fun and stuff. And that's definitely well executed. Um, the only thing that's weird about it to me is just like at the beginning, there's like some guardians of the galaxy things that happen. And for some reason, um, what's that, ac- that actor's name? Who's in everything? Pratt? Yeah. Chris Pratt was weird in that movie. He, he did act there was, like a little different than he usually does, I feel like. Yeah. He also looked different. Like, I was like, Chris Pratt, you've been eating, dude. <laughs> you might need well, to eat some more or something. Like, he looked, like, weirdly weak to me. Wait, wait, he looked malnourished? Yeah. Yeah, I was kind uh, of a, I was kind of sad. I was like, Chris Pratt, dude, are you trying to be, like, one of those Hollywood, like, ladies that you know, starves themselves or whatever. Like, don't do well, that, I Chris thought, Pratt. I you got to eat, uh, I thought maybe for – I didn't see Jurassic World, whatever the most recent one was, but I thought mm-hmm. maybe for that he was supposed to look kind of haggard or something, so maybe he was still mm. in that mode or something Yeah, it like makes that. sense. Like, his but, performance uh, wasn't bad. It's just He just looked – Don't make excuses, Cage. <laughs> All right. The weird the – weird, He might uh, need some multivitamins, weird... you know? Something. The... Yeah, he needs some sunlight. <laughs> the one he, thing... he needs to go outside. Go outside, go Chris. I need a sample. <laughs> yeah, you live in space. You should get plenty of sun. Um, <laughs> wow. The uh, the um, the weird the weird part about the Guardians of the Galaxy part, and again, I won't spoil anything weird, but just like I felt like uh, most of what Star Lord did and his relationship with Thor should have been um, should have been Rocket instead, because I feel like Rocket and Thor kind of like set up their relationship a little bit in the previous in um, both in is it Endgame and then uh, and then right right before that in Ragnarok, 
So uh-huh. I don't know. I just I, I I was like, oh, it should have been Rocket, but maybe they couldn't have got couldn't get um Bradley Cooper for it or something like that. But dude, um, I I looked in the credits at the end. They credited everyone. Hmm. So Bradley cool. Cooper was there, and I heard him talk. They even put Vin Diesel in there. So like you know, I know he was he showed up in the booth and recorded. I am Groot like Are you sure four times. That? Like four yeah, times. He could have done that a long time paid. ago. Yeah, yeah. They, he's being paid. You trying yeah. to you trying to tell me they had a fucking soundboard up in there? Oh, one hundred. <laughs> some you some only bullshit. To record it once, maybe twice. <laughs> All right. Um, one day a voice a voiceover just do like I am. And he's still getting paid. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Uh, slight spoiler category, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna. I just want to ask Gage. The after the credits Jeez, stuff. <laughs> the after the credits stuff. I'm trying yeah. to remember, not like the after all the credits stuff. The after. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about like the mid credit roll reveal? Think is that uh, does that make you happy? Well, yeah, it, yeah, it does. I mean, I I'm interested in uh, yeah. that. If that you know, realm. you know. If you know, yeah. you know. Yeah, Miguel, um, you don't what, know. <laughs> no, I don't. It's all good, dude. If I really wanted to, though, I could go to the internet and find it. True. True. Uh, you, you know that non- character's in, in in Marvel Comics, right? I mean, exactly. What's yeah, that? no, of course. I'm not telling you. You got to watch it. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want you to tell me. <laughs> non sequitur from that. This has nothing to do with this. Uh, I really liked Russell Crowe as Zeus in this. He oh, yeah. oh my God! Yeah, he was. He stole the show for me. I haven't like watched any Russell Crowe for quite some time. Oh, since probably like the Nice Guys, maybe. And uh, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, Russell Crowe rocks, and and he was he was hilarious. Which oh, was funny. And I was just like, yeah, it was great. That scene, that scene in um, what do they call it? Omnipotent City was probably my favorite in the movie for sure. Yeah, and you know um, what? Um, I want to do is I can't wait to have this movie to like pause and freeze frame. I just want to look around in there oh, yeah, and try to spot totally. all the stuff going on. I'm trying, we're trying not to spoil things, but yeah, we're done. We're done we with Thor: Love and Thunder. Can, I was going to say, move, I hope so. because I feel like you're going to end up spoiling. I'm not spoiling things. Just Everyone saw from the trailer, the Zeus part that uh, it's yeah. the Zeus part. We're that, talking about you saw the trailer friend. So, um, Zeus, I, I, I want to ask, uh, I want to ask, uh, Miguel and then, and then you also, Jacob, but, sure. um, Miguel, first off, uh, have you, other than this movie, have you kept up with, um, the shows and what's your like Marvel, uh, exposure limit or level, right? MC I mean, I've, I've pretty, pretty much seen everything at this point. Cool. Except- cool, cool. Just, yeah. just making sure. So then I'll pose the question to, to both of you, like, how are you guys feeling kind of about phase four or like the last, like pretty much since the TV shows have been happening, what's your vibe on Marvel and have you like, have you, do you feel any fatigue or, or are you just as hyped as ever? Can I ask one quick question before answering Uh phase four? Sure. St- f- does phase four start at the, like right after end game? After technically, um, technically after Spider-Man far from home, which was right yeah. after end game. Okay, so yes. Okay, everything after Far From Home. Got it. Yeah. Sorry. Which is Go. like a weird a weird little bridge there, but yeah. Wasn't Far Wait, Far From Home was the one like the second Spider-Man movie, right? Yeah. Hold on, let's tech- let's pull it up. Which is oh, You want me to pull them up? After- you want me to do my job as a producer and pull these things up? <laughs> I'll pull it up yeah. myself cuz I'm trying to remember making sure I've seen everything. I'm pretty sure I've seen everything. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Spider-Man um, Far From have- Home. IMDb has a good list that I'm looking at right now. Um, Spider-Man Far From Home came out in 2019 after Endgame. Yeah, it was July 2nd, 2019. Endgame mm-hmm. came out on April 26th. Got it. Okay, there. There we go. Far From, far from okay. Home. The one with Mysterio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the London, so, the London one. Yeah, that was a good movie. I enjoyed that. Yeah, no, it was. I, I cool. forget how much I, how I forget that I actually liked that movie. For some reason, it didn't like stick with me the same way. But I think yeah. it was just because it was after Endgame, and so you're like so like Endgame came together in such a way that you're like, oh my god, and then you're like, okay, cool, a Spider Man movie. But you know, yeah, yep. Um, it's a good movie. I feel like honestly, it's too early to tell. Um, am I a little fatigued? I would say I'm actually more fatigued with um, Star Wars currently. Mm. Oh, certainly. me too. Than, than I am Marvel. Yeah, dude. Totally. But um, overall, I think um, 
I think it's too early to tell. What's come out, I've liked for the most part. I mean, some things have been better than others, obviously. Like, the Captain America show wasn't very good. Mm-hmm. It was okay. Uh, the, the, when, yeah, the Falcon. When, when, Falcon, yeah, Falcon Winter yeah. Soldier. Like, yeah, I Captain thought it America was okay, Star. but... Yeah. Right. I mean, overall, I think everything's been pretty solid. I had fun with Hawkeye. I thought that was oh, a fun show. Also, just in case people are listening to this down the road, maybe, we'll, should we just say spoilers for everything besides Love and Thunder? Yes, uh, probably. Right oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna spoil thing, things and then, for Phase I mean, Four. I haven't, I haven't seen the finale of Miss Marvel yet, but other than that, yeah. so oh, I'm lying. To, I lied to you. I have not seen Miss Marvel yet. Okay, cool. Well, we can talk about that in a general sense, but yeah. Okay, so uh, I I pulled up this uh, Phase Four thing recap um, from GamesRadar.com. dot com. Mm-hmm. So it started with Wandavision, January twenty twenty one. Where everybody, th- I mean, I don't, what yeah. we should do is just go down the line and just kind of get like general pulse on on all those okay. things. You don't okay, have to go like yeah. into full detail. Uh, WandaVision, I liked. Thought it was cool. They were trying different things. You know what I mean? We had a lot of fun with that, and I also did mm-hmm. like how it bled right into the do- um, Doctor um, yeah. Doctor Strange, yeah. Multiverse of Madness, yeah, multiverse, totally. multiverse of Madness. Yeah. I thought it was very, very good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I, Randall, I, uh, Randall yeah. Park? He was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that he was in that. And he, he was Randall great Park. in that. Awesome. Yeah. He was oh, awesome. That's so funny. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I, lo- I loved WandaVision. I, I thought the, um, you know, the, the way they went about it with the different eras of television was awesome and, like, breaking the weird fourth wall kind of with the, that whole thing. Um I thought it was a really it was one of the stronger shows so far. Actually, I do think the third act was a little, a little. It kind of fell into some similar Marvel things that sometimes you're just like, okay, two people shooting the same color or different color powers at each other. Yep. But, yeah. Um, but otherwise, I, otherwise I, I dug it. Yeah, that's definitely what I felt about the end of that show. Right. So it kind of ends that way. Yeah. It was cool. But I was overall, I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, um, totally. This I forget her name right now, but the uh, bad guy in that show, this lady. Oh, uh, what the um, fuck is her name? I mean, Agatha. Ad- yeah. yeah, Agatha Harkness, and also just that yeah. actress in general killed it. Did great. Um, what's her name? The shit. It's gonna bother me. I know. I uh, I don't just know. Just move you on. You guys fine. can look it up. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> but yeah, she was she was amazing in that. Uh, next my next one was Falcon Winter Winter Soldier. Miguel's already kind of touched up on that but um i i loved it Catherine hahn thank you very much thank you thank you so much (laughs) yeah i i was into it man because like i mean were you really yeah oh yeah i'm a big captain america fan you know what i mean okay so like i'm i'm already like always gonna be skewed and like i i just like falcon and winter soldier period like i like both the characters like I, I love Bucky and um, Falcon. His arc's really cool, and you know, just him becoming Captain America is it was was dope. I liked the Baron Zemo stuff. I thought that was cool. Like uh, especially where he's like dancing in the club, and then they like, release like the cut. <laughs> they released a cut of that, like an extended yeah. version of him dancing in the club. That was fun. Like a little meme when that when that happened. I can find that video. It's <laughs> great. Um, um, and also, yeah. uh, secret agent, you know, that also gave us our first glimpse at, um, uh, what's her, what's her name? Um, she's got a long ass name, <sighs> Julia Louis-Dreyfus, but yes. her character in the show is like a yeah. very long name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really want to call her by a different name, but, um, I forget what her name is in the show, but, uh, Elaine. Um, just call her Lane. It's fine. Julia, Lane, Lu- Lane. <laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus's character. Uh, that's the first yeah, glimpse Lane. we have at her, and it, you know, from that point on, it seems like she's sort of like the evil. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Yeah, she's putting yeah. together like a yeah. Dark Avenger. Yay! I asked him, "Would you squeeze for a beer?" <laughs> uh, oh, Mochi, you're the best. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. They said, "Mochi, you're the she's best." She's a saint. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking her head. Uh, <laughs> like lazy ass. Get up yourself. Good times, man. man. Um, yeah, so I, I was high on it, but I, I get it. You know, and it's not for everyone, whatever. 
the action was kind of cool. And also that one lady was revealed as a bad guy. And it made yeah. sense because it was like, oh, nobody even cared about her character. Like, she was sort of a bigger character in one of the other, like, either the Avengers movie Civil or War. Civil War. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, no one cares about this fucking character anymore. And then uh, I'm glad that they sort of, like, you know, expanded upon what happened. Her just becoming, like, this uber villain, which is great. So, setting things up for the future. Uh, the next one was what? Wait, I want to say something real fast. Oh, that. go ahead. Uh, Sorry. No, just I just really liked the the play on the play for um for Sam. Is that what his name is? Falcon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I liked I like the the kind of just the dealing with like can there be uh like a black uh icon superhero for that like stands for you know can there be a black captain america i thought there was the whole stuff with don Cheadle and all that kind of stuff i thought mm-hmm. that was the most powerful stuff in the show for me the isaiah bradley and, yeah and even the even the flag smasher the, the flag smashers themselves were not executed well but the idea that the, that a marvel show was tackling like refugeeism mm-hmm. and like you know like that kind of stuff i was just i was a little bit surprised it was cool to see disney like touch on some of that stuff i did it was yeah. unexpected uh, yeah anyways. i i felt i That's felt it. the same way with what they did with thor blood and um thunder or whatever um with how they tackle another issue i'm not going to spoil yeah. it but yeah, yeah, uh yeah. in the same vein i was like i really didn't expect them to do that totally. you know much like you know it's like ah oh, they'll sidestep it they'll try to keep it lighthearted, but um yeah, no, they they go for it uh, with all yeah. these stories. So if you know anything about the comic books and you're sort of expecting to see something, you will. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that was the Baron Zemo dancing theme or scene, it, by the way. This is a great. Th- this is an official Marvel Entertainment video on YouTube, by the way. And I Love will link I will link it in the description of the video on YouTube. Um, and it says one hour dancing Zemo, so it's a full hour of that. Because that's what the world needs, absolutely. Yeah, I think I'll do when I do like another DJ set. I'll just have only that video video playing the whole time, where it's just Zemo put dancing some, in the background. Put some cool filters over it or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got to yeah. Got to fucking wash it out. Up the up the contrast. Uh, totally. The <laughs> the next one in Phase Four was Loki. Slam dunk. Loki. Yeah. Slam yeah. dunk. Very good. Uh, absolutely. Definitely preferred over the first two. Absolutely. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? uh kang i'm excited about that whole thing um i think like i think again the place where they like focus on like a kind of a specific aesthetic like with wandavision and with loki i really dig i think the tv shows have had have actually all kind of had like a pretty good character to them like the cinematography or the sense of style is all pretty cohesive and i think that's pretty cool and then tom hiddleston just kind of rules so it's hard not to watch him and, and enjoy that um yeah yeah, I would like more Loki. Um, I did enjoy it quite a bit. It just it's probably one of the better shows. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at a list. Yeah. Most definitely. It's probably my favorite out of the out of the shows that have come out. Nice. Um, so far. I, I got it again. I didn't see Moon Knight. I, I yeah. Knight. I uh, need okay. I need to know your thoughts on Miss Marvel, so you gotta you gotta watch that. Miguel. You, you must. Okay. I will. <laughs> at some point. It's just I, I I do feel like I'm kind of taking a break from it. It'll probably actually be really like that show. I think will benefit from being binged. I think. Yeah, true. The Good week, point. To, the week to week vibe has kind of done it a disservice. I think. Um, really? We'll, we'll, we can talk about that later, but that's fine. Okay. Okay. I can see why you'd say that. Um, yeah, it's 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 the way know? that the pacing of the arcs happens throughout the show that I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? So. What I will yeah. say about Miss Marvel, Miguel, and if you're feeling like you're taking a break or whatever because you want something else or you're like feeling fatigue or whatever, Miss Marvel is probably the most different Marvel thing out there. So at least it'll feel fresh. Just throwing okay. that out there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Loki, why do I love Loki? Because one, sci fi, love it. Always anything sci fi, I'm, I'm down. Two, yeah. time travel, love it. This is one of my favorite genres of everything. Number three, love Loki. Love that actor. Love the character. I just want to see more of it. And then number four, wow, Owen Wilson. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did a really good job. Absolutely. He was really fun to watch. He was great in that show. Yeah. yeah he was, was awesome. amazing Absolutely. with the uh, the fucking uh, ski-do or whatever. The, oh, my God. The, so yeah. Good. 
that was great and also the reveal with king and all that um you know amazing uh and yeah. jonathan majors badass I'm really um, excited to see what his villain becomes. You know what I mean? It'll be great. So. Oh, dude. Oh, like, yeah, we've only seen one type of fucking uh, King the Con, or, you know, not, uh, what's yeah. what's his name? Uh, Richards? King the Conqueror. Oh, yeah. One of the Richards. I mean, he's a Richards. I just forget his mm-hmm. name. Um, but yeah. anyway, I, it's, it's, it's stuff that's not really coming up yet in the MCU, kind of. But, um,. Yeah, it'll be great. Uh, let's see. Uh, psh, Black, Widow. Black Widow, the film. We can go through this kind of quick. I think um, it was it was in, it was entertaining, but I I was kind of like eh, pretty eh on it, you know. Uh, Scar- Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson was good in it. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. Um, like, what's her name? Uh, Florence Pugh, good in it. But. Florence Pugh stole the show. Uh, she's great. I I can't wait to see her more in the mcu to do more things it's great uh they fucking i like her in hawkeye too yeah i i respect what they're doing with uh what's his what's his name uh the fucking copycat oh my god dude uh taskmaster taskmaster i uh i use taskmaster and marvelous capcom 3 so like Mm. that's what introduced me to the character and i know that taskmaster is in um the spider-man game for ps4 or whatever fuck that guy (laughs) <laughs> yeah i've heard he's a bitch to battle and stuff and i don't know just a cool, on, cool ass character that they changed kind of unnecessarily but like they gender swapped and like i always find that that kind of thing to be cool because it's like you know why not give why not make more female characters you know what i mean but like at the same oh. time it's changing the character in like ways that i don't know it's also not the character right it's a completely different character so I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of questionable. But yeah, absolutely. I feel like they uh, often in a lot of Marvel properties they just like here's Taskmaster because he's like uh, they are a like a, a cool idea, but they they often don't give them a lot of credence. It's kind of like a D tier villain for them, you know. Pizza Man uh, Sam in chat said more like Bad Widow. <laughs> man, oh, scathing, ouch. scathing. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know. No, but, I feel it though. It was kind of yeah. whatever. It was kind of. Eh. I I will say what the okay. what the kids say. Black Widow's more like, you know, mid. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, I'll watch it uh, when I'm doing a marathon, but it, I won't, probably won't throw it on that much. Even even though I like uh, the dude from Stranger Things, and I thought his performance was fun too. So I don't know. It might be one of those movies you throw on one day when you're like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen that movie in forever, and you watch it, and you're like, and it's, it's you're kind of surprised, yeah. better than I remember. You know what I mean? That's that's what I like. Same thing with Miss with the Mar- Miss Marvel, or not Miss Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel movie. Captain Marvel, yeah. You might have thought like that movie was kind of whatever, but then you rewatch it and you'll be like, oh yeah, there's all this cool cat shit going on, and that's fun. I've only I only saw that in theaters. I haven't seen that. Since <laughs> the theaters, only so, redeeming yeah. quality, right? <laughs> and <laughs> young Nick Fury. What'd you say? I'm sorry, Gage. Go ahead. Oh, it's all good. I was just gonna say I've only seen that in theaters. I haven't seen it since. So that's you're you're spot on. I see what I mean? Um, yeah. Let's uh let's keep rolling because we yeah. got some more to go go through. Let's go. Uh, what if we can uh, we can go over kind of quick, but um, yeah, you know, cool anthology show that turned into um, you know a little bit more meaningful potentially. Um, just ke- I think that it was good to just kind of like expand people's vocabulary of what a multiverse is, right? Um, and, and fun to see some different things. I think it would have been maybe a little bit cooler if it had, had different art styles every week. Yeah. Um, like like that, yeah. like the like the animatrix, or like yes, like that, or like the um, uh, Star Wars Visions. Like I, I oh thought, yeah, like that kept me on my toes in a way where I was just excited to look at the art, you know. Yeah. So like it having the same art every week was kind of like, eh. but other than that, I thought it was it was it was fun, you know. Yeah, I was. I still am actually technically haven't finished the show, <laughs> so I don't oh, know. It didn't really hit for fine. me. Didn't really hit for me as I mean, much, you know. It was good. I enjoyed that one. I just, I, I think I just didn't finish like the last couple episodes, and we just didn't really like go back to it. But um, no, there were some, there were some solid episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's just not a priority for me, and I can't explain why. And it's just that's. I mean, that's where I'm it at is with animated. It. Something that sometimes that has something to do with it, you know? Like. And that's, but the thing is, I love animated stuff, and I just feel yeah. like. I don't know if it was the way they recorded the voices or like just the way they like the perform the performances didn't 
fucking rock me. You know what I mean? I don't understand what, what they did wrong. Mm. Um, and it's just a weird nitpicky thing, but it just like, I don't know, just feels off. There's something about what if that just fucking feels off to me, but I do like the storylines. So I don't know. Whatever. I'll get, I'll get around to finishing it. Um, you, right. you kind of, yeah, you kind of skipped that one. Cause that actually came out September 3rd before what if debuted in August. Oh, weird on the list. I'm looking on IMDb. It has that one coming out. Uh, oh, well maybe whatever. you're, maybe you're right. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I mean, it could, well, who knows, but yes. Shang Chi. What do you guys think? Again. Very good. I loved it. It was very good. It was a lot of fun. Same. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Kung, Kung Fu or, or, you know, martial arts in, uh, in Marvel. Super fun. The choreography was awesome. San Francisco was fun. Hell yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what? Quick story. I saw it in me, Mochi Squeeze and I saw it in 4DX, right? Which means that your chair does this. Yeah, move and then, or whatever, right? But you're watching this movie and it's like people are fighting Kung Fu style. And so, like, every punch, you feel like seriously like a fist to your literal back. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, like, wind and stuff, and so you felt, like, the wind, it was, like, nice and cool, and then sometimes there was, like, splashes of water, and you get this fucking little yeah. squirt to the Mist. face. Were you actually wow. getting misted? Yeah, but but the funniest part of that, that story is that, like, I got a beer, and it was completely f- full, uh, and I set it in the cup holder, did not expect the Don't fucking everywhere. chair oh to start shaking gosh. like oh. crazy. And so, like, essentially, right when it started, it started to kind of do this. And I was like, Whoa! and I grabbed the beer and I started to, I chugged, like, the first, like, sixth of it immediately. And I, I was like just, like, should, I was holding like it the whole time. like they should give you lids for such a thing. But, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, it did splash. But it did, I did spill a little bit. So, yeah. Um, funny story. What's next? Eternals. Okay. Yawn. Yeah, man. <laughs> it wasn't that great. It's probably my uh, least, my one of my least liked Marvel things in general. Yeah, it was kind of boring to be honest. It's, yeah, big time. It just had an enemy problem, man. I was just, I was just like, what? Like, yeah. I don't know. And then it felt like it was both such a colossal scale, <laughs> but also so uh, like sort of unimpactful at the same time. And yeah. I was just kind of yeah. like, you know, okay, so God exists, and then you're like, fuck that guy, and then. Right. And then that's pretty much it. I don't know. It was just, it was just, it, it was very odd to me. I don't know. You know, what's odd is this art that I yes. found. <laughs> this is kind of odd, but I can't yeah. draw that. Oh, well, that so. is weird. Um, I don't know if this is official and I feel like it's not. Um, here's the thing about the Eternals. There's a lot of characters and they're not bad characters. And I feel like if the Eternals was a fucking show, then the Eternals would have worked. There you go. Because there then go. we yeah. would have got, like, they would have been, been able to flesh all this out. But because it's the opposite of Thor, Love, and Thunder, right? They're 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 taking on, store us like, the amount of stories that they can possibly fit in, like, a one movie and, like, making it work. Whereas Eternals is just, it's just too big. And so it ends up, uh, it's just people talking in rooms. But, yeah. but, um... Uh- <laughs> But, that would have been so cool if it was a nine episode series and each episode yeah. focused on a different eternal and then they all culminated or something like that. That'd Dude, awesome. Yeah, I think real. I really think they should have went with that. But um, looking forward, looking forward to uh, the the Dark Knight, Black Knight, or whatever, and also uh, the fact that uh, you heard Blade's voice, uh, yeah. calling. Yeah. You know, what's his name? Um, that I'm just. Getting I cannot. Too. I just give me fucking Blade. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at with right. this movie. Um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Grand Slam. Grand Slam. Loved this. That was a lot of fun. A, a, a pleasant surprise for sure. I, I had a, a really good time with that show. I thought it was well done. Um, it was fun. That's what I liked about it the most. I think it was just overall fun. Uh, how do you guys feel about Haley Steinfeld's performance in this in this show? Uh, that's I, um. That's the that's the thumbs up. Kate, Kate Bishop, right? Kate Bishop, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kate Bishop. Yeah, I'm excited to see more of her in the MCU. I think she's going to be a really good fit. She like nails the um, the mixture of of drama and humor. I think really well. Yeah, yeah, I, she did good. Kate Bishop as a character is just like you're seeing her alive on screen, and she killed it. Uh, but also Jeremy Brenner or Jer- Jeremy Renner, uh, fucking like 
ju- I I don't know. So great. It's kind of funny to see the juxtaposition of like how he was. Jesus Christ, excuse me. How he was in Endgame versus in that where he was like just back to being like lovable dad, and then also yeah, and he's old. Though. Like he's getting old. <laughs> he's Can't getting older. It. You could see it. Yeah, he's getting old. It, it makes perfect sense. Which I'm the, glad they did that. By the way, a good passing of the torch. Did you guys Absolutely. know that he was in a movie where he was um that one serial killer? What's his name again? The one from Milwaukee. BTK? Um, no. No, no, uh, the the cannibal guy. Oh, um Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah, yeah. He was in the Dahmer? Look it up. There's a movie called Dahmer and he plays Jeffrey Dahmer. Crazy. Yeah. So I didn't know that. I don't know. Just want to throw that out there. I tell everybody, hey guys, Jeremy Renner. He'll drill a hole into your skull and uh, try to turn you into a sex zombie. All right, next, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, by the way, Hawkeye, the reveal with the connection to um, uh, the uh, Netflix Marvel shows Netflix. Was, was fucking yeah. incredible, by the way. Just had to throw oh, that Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. With uh, what's his yeah, name? I Kingpin. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, Spider- Which makes me actually want to go back and watch those because I, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't watch season three either. Do it. Yeah. Just do it. Nice. Uh, <laughs> fuck Iron Fist. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Exactly. Fuck Iron that's Fist. Me off from that whole thing. I, that, that's the reason I stopped watching those shows. That me too. Shit. Me too. I will say this about Iron Fist. The only no. good. <laughs> li, hear me out. There's only one good episode of any show with that version of Iron Fist, and it's where Iron Fist shows up on an episode of Luke Cage's show, and then they okay. do a straight up Heroes for Hire kind of episode. And then he finally, like, actually embodies the character of Iron Fist in one episode of one of all those fucking shows, and it's totally worth watching. That one episode. And also nice. Luke Cage is... I love that actor. He's fucking badass. Luke Cage is cool as shit. Bring him into the MCU, please. Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I mean, what what can you say? This is, like... Yeah. This was a This was a triumph of... of uh, I mean, what, 20 years of cinema, like, culminating into something? I, it was such a cool and weird thing, and, yeah, I had, I had an absolute blast with it. Yeah. Very good. I, like, oh, yeah. There are no words. Has no yeah. has no business being as good as it was. <laughs> no. It is such a damn good movie. Um, they really and, outdid and the, themselves. The, the fact that I can't watch it on Disney Plus is kind of annoying, to be honest. Totally. So it's Sony doing Sony things, you know. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Sony this doing wanna... what Sony wishes they could have done before. <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, this was one of the first movies in a long time where I was in a theater, not just because of the pandemic, but just in general, where I was in a theater that was full of just the most enthusiastic people and the most like crowd cheers and. Uh, you know, just like audible cracking up by everyone. And, and like, it was, it, yeah, it was a fun theater experience for sure. Yeah. I was yelling. I was like screaming. Oh, everyone was. Movie. Yeah, totally. I was like, Oh shit. Oh shit. The whole it was time. Fun. I went, I went with a bunch of nerd friends and then one friend who was like, not really nerdy. And he was just like, why is everyone so enthused? But I was like, shut up, dude. Just have fun with life. Cause it's fucking you know? huge, man. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, no, cool, cool movie. Uh, you know, and I kind of want don't want to spoil this one at all. I just want to say that, yeah, um, if you have not seen this film, and you just happen to not know what's going on in this film, but you it. have seen uh, other Spider-Man films, please watch this movie. You know what? It's I kind of I kind of forgot about this movie a little bit. Um, what? When I was thinking about my uh, rankings, you know what I mean? I don't know why. It's just I feel like it's just been so long. Even though it hasn't. All right, what's the next movie? Uh, it's Moon Knight. Oh, it's a series. Yeah. Series Moon Knight. Yeah. What What do you think about Moon Knight, Gage? Um. So, I'll I'll make this quick, but quick preface: Moon Knight in the comics, or some of the comic books of Moon Knight are some of my favorite Marvel comics of all time. Wow. Uh, he is one of my favorite characters because he's essentially like schizophrenic Batman in the comics. They yeah. really didn't do that in this series. They made him much more of a marvely cosmic um, thing going on. Um, mm. and he had way more to do with the with the Egyptian gods and everything. It was Conchu. just like he's yeah. he, he's way more of like a of a New York vigilante in in the comic books. Only he hallucinates. Um, that he's fighting alongside Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Captain America, 
and like Captain America is like his conscience and Wolverine is like his rage and Spider-Man is like his like encouragement to do like good and also like his jokes and quips and like and so it was just very very different and I was a little disappointed I like Oscar Isaac but I just felt like it was yeah I don't know they were trying to do too many weird different things and it just didn't really come together Ethan Hawke was also cool yeah um but yeah I don't know we'll see Going forward, he might be really cool in the MCU, but I didn't love the show. I agree with what you're saying. Like, I haven't read any of the Moon Knight stuff, but, like, like I haven't personally read the comics, but, like, I know yeah. about it just through the grapevine of, like, reading about Moon Knight and all that stuff. And it seems like this version of Moon Knight that we got in the show is not so great. Um, I will say that, like, the performances are great, but, like, basically the editing of the show ruins the show completely. Uh, the way that they executed the story, I feel like, is fucking annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the like, action was bad. The action was there really was bad. no action. Every time there's action, it just he like blacks out, and then you see what happens after. And it's like I know that we're supposed to have fun, and like we're supposed to like see from a point of view that's like disorienting and stuff. They could have done that in, like one or two episodes, and then they could have just given us Moon Knight after that. But then it just continues to be like a beautiful mind, but like the you yeah. know Moon Knight edition, you know, and it's like ugh, I don't know. I feel like it's messy in a lot of ways. There's some good moments. There's some cool stuff, like the the god stuff or what, like the stuff you're talking about, like the cosmic shit and the gods and all yeah. that. Like I found that to be interesting. Some of those characters were interesting, but like the show itself to me just kind of didn't work. So yeah, I don't know. me too. That's where I'm at. I'm at with that. Miguel, I suggest you watch it. I'll watch it at some point. Um, but I I'll would listen. say Miss Marvel is at the top of that list, though. Doctor You're... Strange. <sighs> yes. I'm so glad uh-huh. we're finally here. <laughs> that was fucking... That was... It's just good. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should. It's just good in general. All around. Yeah. If you have Disney Plus, watch it now. Like, Absolutely, please. watch it right now. Put it on. Yeah. What What do you guys think of the first Doctor Strange movie? Let's just back it up a little. Um, I went and rewatched it uh, not not long before watching this one, and I liked it better that time around. I remember the first time around not really enjoying it very much, or I think it had, it came out at a time where we hadn't had a lot of other origin stories around that period in marvel history mm-hmm. or in the mcu history and so i was kind of like Ugh, another origin story and i felt like it was a little played but going back i was like you know benedict cumberbatch is it's like really fun to watch and the whole dormammu thing at the end i thought was just like a one of the cooler endings to really any marvel movie actually and i've so come like, i've come to bargain it was great and so i've um, come so to the, bargain yeah. <laughs> and then the visual and it's also visually stunning which you kind of forget about because it's like we've seen a lot of that now, you know. Yeah. But but it was it was awesome. So I don't know. Um. Yeah. Cool stuff. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. Like actually, Mochi and I just rewatched it like the other day, and I was like, yeah, this movie still holds up. Like all the weird mirror dimension transformation shit, and like when he gets sent through dimensions just to fuck with them. Um. You know, some really cool visual stuff, but like, really like you know. I don't know. Doc, the first movie is pretty good. Like it's again, it's like another one of those movies. It's better than you remember. But like you watch this one, I'm like, oh, oh man, what a cool ass movie. You have to be ready for le- like, okay. When I say campy, I oh, don't, yeah. I don't mean like the normal, the normal Marvel campy. I mean like Sam Raimi campy. So I yeah, would say, <laughs> I would say the best way to experience this film. Um, and you know, you can just watch it and enjoy it, but the best way to watch this movie is to first go back and watch evil dead one, evil dead two, evil dead three. Then you go ahead and watch Spider-Man one and two and three, the original, then go ahead and watch, uh, drag me to hell, then throw this movie on. Okay. And then tell me, and before, and before you do that, like drink a couple beers and maybe smoke a doobie and then, and then enjoy all of it. I just want more pizza papa. Pizza Papa. <laughs> I just want more fucking pizza. I just want to try a pizza ball. I want to know what a pizza <laughs> ball tastes like. I want to know. Uh, yeah, I, it was and, fun. It was good stuff. 
yeah really cool ass movie like i thought the cg was great but it didn't feel like too much you know there was the only moment in the movie that's a little cheesy but is also fun and like i had this convo with mochi too is like there's a there's a spoiler alert there uh you know what i won't spoil it but there is a point in the movie of a certain type of battle that happens oh yeah right uh uh man without giving it away um it's a it's an uh, it's a it's a audio oral. battle it's an, an oral an oral it's an battle. audible style battle miguel do you know battle. what i'm talking about now i think so that part's kind of cheesy exactly. but if you just stop being pretentious and you just fucking laugh along you're like all I'm right fuck that. it yeah, who totally. cares i thought the spells in this movie were crazy and weird and like you know fucking like there's one point where like just essentially two Im- disembodied like zombie giant arms just grab something and it's like really fucking weird and i don't know he like summons like monsters and stuff uh, it's just like this is the most wacky doctor strange shit you could do and it's perfect because this is like the like doctor Ve- absolutely doctor strange is a vessel for this type of stuff and it's a sam raimi ass film so if you like sam raimi at all um yep. you will love this movie trust me 100 percent agreed any any other cool. thoughts? So next next is uh next is Miss Marvel. So we we won't go into detail about it, but um, yeah, definitely like it's it's a uh, it's more of like a, a it starts off with a little bit more of like kind of a teen setting. It's got a little bit of like high school drama to it, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I'd say the biggest like triumph of the show so far. I haven't seen the finale, but um, is just the introduction of of um, uh uh pakistani culture and yeah like and just really like showing us a really positive side of and of like that community and Mm -hmm. um my wife is indian uh and and so there's a lot of crossover there and so i think like you know um yeah it was cool to see a lot of stuff that's really familiar to me going over there and and certainly super familiar to her like entrenched in this show so that that that's a total triumph and uh the forget her name but the person who plays kamala she's uh she's yeah she's awesome and a total joy to watch yeah i absolutely agree with everything you have to say there iman iman Vellani. there you go yeah. yeah i just love how cultural the show is like it doesn't shy away from anything like uh what i found to be really interesting is like on twitter when these episodes were coming out like people who are like muslim and like you know pakistani and all that stuff were uh we're just saying like, I can't believe they put this joke in here. It's such an inside joke to my culture. And it's like so amazing and representation matters and all that stuff. So like this, this show like nails it, but also like you said, you know, it's essentially, it's still a teen show and the, and like the tone, the cinematography, uh, uh, is just so vastly different from any other Marvel thing out there. Not to mention like, the casting is great, um, and there's just a ton of Pakistani people in in this uh, in this show. It's like, um, it's the uh, we were just talking about Iron Fist, like the whitewashing and all that stuff, and this is like the complete opposite, like 180. Marvel's done. Um, it's it's really it's really great. I, I need to finish the show too. I, I keep I think it just the episode just dropped like last week or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it tonight. <laughs> um, yeah and her pow- uh, her and powers then, are pretty different from the comics but like not really like it's just like yeah, the source like of it. it but yeah i feel like they like blended it well with the cultural stuff and i'm like ah and also who needs terrigen gas right that's <laughs> such a yeah oh, and and you know what's funny uh we've mentioned his name on the show before but i was listening to um uh tamar hussein uh, yeah. who is a is a pakistani uh video game pundit out there or nerd pundit i guess you'd call it and um writer for uh, gamespot.com yeah the number one the number one website Mm -hmm. on the planet (laughs) gamespot.com according to tamar Um, hussein according to tamar and the number two and number three um (laughs) but his his summation his summation of the show and kind of like uh the way he talks about the overarching themes and how it has to do with um uh uh, partition which is the separation between um pakistan and india when when the when india got its independence from great britain um is really is really cool and it like it kind of spun a different look at the show for me than how i had perceived it but it, it was good so mm-hmm. check him out on twitter or whatever if you want to see that 
Yeah. Um, definitely check yeah. out Tam. Tam's the best. Uh, so I, I thought real fast, we're, a, we're running a little late, but um, we could look at some of the upcoming Marvel stuff and just see what we're excited for. Mm-hmm. I could just run, I could just run down the list and then sure. call out ones if you want something like that. Yeah, let's go, man. Yeah, let's go. Right. Go. I'm going to rattle them off kind of quick and then we can circle back. All right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we have, I am Groot, which is an animation short that's supposed to come out in March, 2023. Cute. Uh, okay. whatever. Cool. It's about, yeah, a little, little group. I am uh, we have, Sh- we have she Hulk, uh, coming out in September of this year. People are critical uh, of the CG. We'll see. Heck yeah. We'll see yeah, how it looks. For sure. I'm stoked. We got. I'm wearing my Hulk shirt watch, right now. I definitely want to watch that. Yeah, heck yeah. We have What If Season 2. Uh, supposed to be coming out later this year, I guess, which is crazy. I gotta finish Season 1. Yeah. Um, we have the Untitled Marvel slash Disney Plus Halloween special. That's supposed to happen this year. That's gonna uh, be interesting. Dude. It's not, I don't think, officially confirmed, but it's pretty heavily speculated. I love it's supposed Halloween. supposed to be like a musical, maybe? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Different. Uh, uh, we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever, <laughs> November of this year. We haven't seen shit for that, but maybe at San Diego Comic Con, which is happening this week, we might yeah. see something. Guaranteed. Uh, stoked. Uh, Down. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, which I think might be totally delightful. Um, we'll yeah. have to wait and see. Well, by the way, I hope it's like the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> Wait, you want to see Chewbacca's like nephew again? Yeah, uh, I just want something real bad, dude. Like <laughs> in a good way. I I almost guarantee that they reference that. Hawkeye Star Wars holiday special. Hawkeye is technically the only Marvel Christmas thing, so I guess more Christmas. Thanks, Disney. What what okay. else you got? Uh, next we have Echo. Okay, getting uh, her own show, which is the character from um from Hawkeye. I. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to that. I don't really feel like she warranted her own thing, but maybe, maybe it'll be cool. Yeah, uh, I think it's. I, 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 I did. I like the character actually. I did. I did too, and it's Contact cool. The whole him? ableist idea. Uh, there's some cool stuff to be explored there, but I don't know. I don't oh know. right, yeah, no, actually, it might be cool. Yeah, I like deaf characters and stuff. And she yeah. was. Uh, she's Native American now. Uh, let's take... see, Maya Lopez. Uh, Native American oh, Latina. I guess also known as Ronin sometimes. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, she is. I think Latina. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me look into this character. Continue. All right. Then we have this one. I I, I expect might be surprisingly impactful on the MCU as a whole. Uh, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Um. I fathom that this could be the next time we see Kang. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Absolutely, we will see Kang um, because when they first announced this movie, they and they announced Jonathan Majors uh, to play Kang. So that, that's been casted. We, we know he's coming. Uh, also, yes, Echo is Native American. T- uh, continue. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Ironheart, which is that the one that, that Kit Harrington is playing or no? No. Okay. Kit Harrington no is idea. Black Knight. I have no idea what that is. Though. Oh, is Ironheart about um uh War Machine? Ironheart is um is like a spin-off uh Iron Man character. So it's like a female Iron Man essentially. I think she's in the Young Avengers as well uh and may be related to uh you know what's his Don name? Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don or Cheadle's Robert character. Uh, okay, got it. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. Uh, I'm down. Okay. Cool. We uh, we're apparently Dominique Thorne from Black Panther: Wakanda Forever is going to be reprising a role. Oh. In, cool. in Iron. So. Okay. Cool. There you go. Cool. Oh, that that makes sense. Okay, so like, yeah, some the uh, Wakanda slash Don Cheadle slash like from the from Captain and Winter Soldier. Uh, I could see there's some ties in there. Cool. Um, yep. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is in May of 2023. Um, Cool. More Guardians. Give it to me. Absolutely. Yeah, give it to me. James Gunn. Let's do it. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, Secret (laughs) Invasion, then. Uh, TVA 2023. 
That's coming, baby. That's going to be that's about the scrolls. Show? That's a... Yes. Yeah. Scrolls. You know, if you don't know Let's anything do about the Secret Invasion comic run, just look love that it. shit up. It's tight. Yeah, I love that comic run. Pretty rad. Um, I, I have a Deadpool. Uh, one of the issues of Deadpool that deals with like what he does, and it's really fucking funny. <laughs> Yeah, that is a. I've read that. That's a hilarious issue. Um, then I've never heard of this, and I don't know if this is confirmed. What? But Spider Man freshman year. I uh, I don't know. Where'd you get that from? It's on IMDb. It says TBA summer twenty twenty three. I I don't believe that at all. I mean, that, but... that is probably possible. Oh. But... Uh, just quick Google search gave me uh back in November twenty one. Or November 2021, Spider-Man freshman year was officially announced alongside the likes of Marvel Zombies and X-Men 97 during oh. D- Disney Plus Day. So you're right. Yeah, oh, that, that's so legit. Oh, so is it maybe... Um, it's legit. Is it maybe... Maybe it's just an animated show or something? Uh, No, it's just... They just announced a bunch of projects on Disney Plus Day. So maybe you're right. It could be animated or it could just be like a series or like a you know a short film or something. Interesting. Hmm? All right. Uh, then we have the Marvels, which should include Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel, and maybe uh, uh, the 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 chick from WandaVision. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you. Like... By the way, uh, that freshman year thing is animated, so you're right about that. Sorry. There you go. Cool. Um. Yeah. Yeah. The the Marvels, hopefully better than the Captain Marvel movie. There we go. Um, then X Men ninety seven is included in here. I I didn't. That's not MCU it's a, though. It's a new season of the show. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm down. Cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same way. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> you know. Uh, then we have uh, then we have <laughs> Agatha House of Harkness. So a show about Agatha. Man, there's a lot of projects. There's a lot going on. Catherine Hahn. Yeah. yeah, Catherine Hahn. Woo! Uh, then we have Blade, November 10th, 2023. Give it to me. Can't fucking wait. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mahershala Ali. Is that Let's a movie go. or a show? It's a movie. A movie, think. baby. Oh, good. Good. That's going to be awesome. I cannot I'm hoping, wait. I'm hoping they get the R rating for it. I really hope. They need to. They must. I need blood. I need bloods and uh, fucks. That's what I need then, we, that movie. then we have uh, Armor <laughs> Wars is supposed to also come out in the winter of that year, which is crazy. Yep. Don Cheadle's characters in that one. Yep. Yeah. That I'm should down. be interesting. We'll probably uh, get some um, Iron Heart then... in that too. What'd you say? I said we'll probably see Iron Heart in that show as well. Yeah, I would yeah, assume I would it's like almost a sequel to Iron Heart, probably. Seems so, yeah. Uh, then we have Fantastic Four in 2024 sometime. Fucking finally. Seriously? Uh, I wonder if we'll get the same Reed Richards or if it'll be he'll be That's, recast. That is what I was thinking. Yep. I wonder if it's you know, going to be, uh, what's his yeah. name, John Krasinski. I mean, yeah, I mean, they could, you know, they could explain it away with multiverse stuff, but who knows. What if it's that guy from um, uh, Dune who get who plays the Human Torch? What's... That Shamalanga Ding Dingadin. Timothy Shama Shamaganan. <laughs> Chang and Ching and Wait, Sha- he plays Langan. the he plays the human torch and what? No, I said what if they cast him as a oh, human torch? I see. I see. The, I the see. La- uh the you know ladies like I think it'd be funny if it was the Chris girls Evans like him. Again. I don't I don't know. Do they like him still? That would be hilarious if it was Chris Evans again. If it's Chris what if Evans it, again? What if it was just the, that would be fucking hilarious? What if it's hilarious. Machine Gun Kelly, dude? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, just kidding. <laughs> all right, cool. And then we have we have Marvel Zombies. Is uh, that live action or animated? Animated. All right, cool. I'll watch it. Yeah, Man. I don't. I don't know. I'll watch but, it. Better be better than the episode of What If? You know what I mean? <laughs> then we have uh, it start. This is where we get to. There's no title art for anything, and I feel like it's a little more speculative. Okay. Um, Ca- Captain America four. TBA 2024 sometime. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which, cool. I'm interested yeah. to see, you know, Sam's next part. Then I think all these other, yeah, at this point, I'm just going to read through these real fast. Sure. Uh, we got Dead, Deadpool 3, Untitled Wakanda Project, Untitled Shang-Chi sequel, Untitled Marvel Nova Project, and then Thunderbolts. Um, you know Nova's coming. 
Oh, and the Thunderbolts. Yeah. I mean, okay, that's what we're setting cool. up right now. That's what Julia Le- Louise Dreyfus's character is setting up is the Thunderbolts. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have we're gonna have like the earthly kind of Avengers e like secret agent slash doing some some dark underground shit, and then we're gonna have like uh like the cosmic slash multiversal thing illuminati and then yeah and then like even though they just the, died like, yeah oh, sorry, and spoiler then there's alert. like the and then there's like the young guns kind of like young avengers young avengers vibe too so i feel like it's gonna go in those three kind of directions which is cool i'm down that that's what i was gonna say your list is missing young avengers because they're uh, they've obviously been building up to that there's totally. so many fucking characters in Marvel already that are like young Avengers characters. You know, they're just straight up just just like even uh Wanda or what's her Wanda's kids are supposed to mm-hmm. are in the yeah. in young Avengers in the comics. Maybe so, like, uh, I wonder maybe if Iron crossover. Man's kid too, we'll see. Ironheart, Young Avengers. Yeah. Fucking Kate Bishop, Young Avengers. Yep. I could just name yep. so many characters. Uh just also Marvel. don't forget uh Ant Man's kid is destined to be like the, you know, kid ant basically. <laughs> I don't know what her kid, name is. Kid I forget. Tim. Stature. There you uh, go. That, that's what his name should be. No, kid ant. Kid ant. <laughs> it's a girl. Yeah, kid ant. She, that's fine. She's kid a ant. she's a girl. Um cool. Heck yeah. So that's what do you guys what do you guys think? How you you think it will be tired of Marvel by the time all those projects come out? Well considering it's been twenty years at this point, probably not, but yeah, no. you never know. Dude. I mean, I, I if they can catch lightning in a bottle twice and have all of it culminate to another moment that feels like Endgame, it's going to be surprising to me just because it, that was a pretty unfathomable task from the beginning. And the fact that like you sat there and watched Endgame and you're like, holy shit, this all this they made me care about all this stuff. Um, if they I, do it I, twice, I, it'll be yeah, it'll be astonishing. But it, maybe they can, maybe they will. I mean, I think it's a, a pretty big gamble for them to do. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, it's a long time to do it over, obviously, but I feel like if it keeps making money, they'll keep doing it, and if it doesn't, they'll probably just, you know. Okay, moving on. Well, Dither out. Gotta do yeah. something else. Yep. Well, in this pocket dimension, Marvel gets our money. That's for fucking sure. That's true. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're taking it. Um, now, I have a... Do you have anything else, Gage? No, that's that. Cool. Uh, So, we'll just do... I had a little segment planned. It's just super yeah. quick. It's not even really a segment this time. Marvel faves. I'm going to ask nice. you guys, what is your favorite favorite Marvel video game of all time? And then I want your top three Marvel movies. Uh, did you come up with this list already? I hope you did. Uh, I got it off the cuff. Sure. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll I can go, get I'll, it off the cuff too. It's fine. Whoever wants to go first, just jump right in. Will you repeat the I, questions one more time? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Marvel faves. Say- favorite Marvel video game of all time can be any game, any system, any time, right? And then top three Marvel movies. I cool. don't remember the name of the game, but Whoa. it was the one in the arcades. Oh, yeah. With Hawkeye and... Oh, yeah. I don't remember the name of that fucking game. <laughs> nice. Is it, just, is it not just the OG Marvel versus Capcom? No, 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 no. Not no, a fighter? No, no. It was like a... It was like a, um, a what the fuck? Was, it was like a beat 'em up. Oh, cool! It was an arcade beat 'em up whose name I don't remember. Nice, interesting. Yeah, I remember it, that it one. It was a cabinet, like super cool. old school, dude. Fuck That's yeah! That's awesome. I'll look it up. Gangster, and what's your top three uh, Marvel movies, Miguel? Um, I'd probably say Guardians, um, uh, Spider Man, and then probably Doctor Strange. Even though Shang Chi's up there too, that was a good movie. That movie's really good, yeah. It was really good. Cool. Um, I'll just go next. Uh, Marvel game. I don't know. That's kind of a hard question for me to be honest, but probably the one that I played the most, besides Marvel vs. Capcom three, because that shit was tight. Uh, I played a lot of it. Is uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance two? Uh, I nice. like. I did a lot of couch co op with that game. Uh, on the Xbox 360, so that that game was fucking sick. 
the arcade games are cool too. But yeah, I, if I could pick one, it's got to be that one. But you guys remember the X Men one for arcades where you could either be Gambit or like Wolverine yeah, that or like. Yeah, was cool too. Uh, Absolutely. I think even Jubilee was on there or something. And, and not to uh, interrupt you, but it was called Captain America and the Avengers, nineteen ninety one. Nice. That's right. I know that game. Yeah, um, fucking up. Great. Classic. I w- I would probably pick Spider Man if I had played through the whole thing, but I only play like two hours of it on the PS4 one. But you guys know it's just because oh, like that one's fucking great too. I came super late to the PS4, and then I got a Series X, and so like I just didn't have a chance to play all the games. So I'm sorry, everyone. That Spider Man game is fucking solid, dude. You need to play it. I'm I know. I know. It, so yeah, I have okay. it on PS4 right now. <laughs> It's just when I turn on my PS4, it's like I'm turning on a jet engine. That was like a, if oh, I was yeah. doing a commercial um, okay. for how loud it was. <laughs> um, and then what are my top three Marvel movies uh, so far? Uh, number one has to still be, and it'll always be at the top, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, fucking love that movie. It's such a great movie. You could just watch it. You don't need to watch any movies with it. You could just throw that movie on for anyone at vol. You know, you put it on for your mom. She'll be like, "Wow, that was a good movie." Uh, and then number two has to be um, uh, Thor Ragnarok, and then number three will be Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Those are my top three, probably. Nice. It's hard to do that for me. Go ahead, Gage. Your last. Yeah, that, that yeah, the top three is hard for me too. But uh, favorite Marvel game ever, Spider Man twenty eighteen. Uh, I have not played Miles Morales yet, but um, yeah, twenty eighteen. It's just like it's a combination of like the gameplay being like almost like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, where it's like fun and you're just tricking around the city. It's got one of the best and most excellently realized New York cities ever. Mm-hmm. And I used to live in New York City, so that's really fun to like mob around that whole place and see it and dude what uh, about flight sim though Just, i'm kidding go ahead I, I have never played flight sim but uh <laughs> but uh but yes it's um it's, it's just not the so same, fun Jacob. i know i know it was a joke go ahead <laughs> you can't like literally go to your old work building and climb around on it and be like whoa i'm in my old work to cra- um, no i'm not gonna say that never mind continue the, 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 uh, <laughs> the still too is, soon is the combat is so fun. It's like Arkham, but like perfectly adapted for Spider-Man's move set. Um, it is like, yeah, it's just awesome. The costumes are all excellent. The story itself is really good. They do some really fun stuff with um, ca- like characters that you think you know what's going to happen to them. And then they totally turn it on a dime, which is fun. No spoilers since you haven't played it, but they do some crazy stuff with like Aunt May and, Mar- and uh, Doc Ock and stuff. So really fun. Uh, yeah, play that game um and then top three marvel movies this is really hard because there's like the like i've ranked the mcu myself i've done my own ranking and when i look at the top three it's like i agree with it objectively but my heart tells me other things kind of you know what i'm saying yeah um so right now i'll just for my i'll just throw it out there for my mcu and review ranking i have spider-man no way home at the top then guardians of the galaxy and then endgame mm-hmm. but but I think damn, No Way Home should have been up there. From mine, sorry, I, continue again, right? Like yeah, when you think movie. about No Way Home, Fuck. but I don't know if I'm really thinking about like my favorite Marvel movies, like ones that I just want to watch, like regardless of MCU and everything, I just like watching them. Um, I really like uh, I really like Civil War because it has like the elements of Captain America: Winter Soldier, but mixed with some of the like more Avengersy things. Um. Guardians of the Galaxy is going to stay there because it's just like so rewatchable and the soundtrack's so good and it's hilarious and yada, yada, yada. Aunt May. Oh, look at her. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, what's oh, that absolutely. line from my cousin, my cousin Vinny when she's all like, well, the 1978 Chevrolet doesn't have the right tire tread. Sorry, continue. <laughs> you, I was going to say, you could tell me that was a picture from last week and I'd believe you. She's also right, a vampire. She- Continue. He, he fucking looks amazing. Um, and and then this is like gonna be kind of I'm speechless kind of right a now. Weird one, but but the OG the OG Iron Man dude. Like I, every time I watch that movie, I just enjoy it thoroughly, and I just love. I think Robert Downey Jr.'s performance, like so good, is the reason the MCU exists. Like that movie was just so fucking dialed that oh, we could do something with this. And what a know. redemption story too, just for just for him, you know. Totally. I just like. 
so yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Civil War, Guardians, and Iron Man, which is a weird thing for me to say out loud, but I think that's wow. what I'm going with. I like your list. Yeah, it's all it's all that's... subjective. So, you know what I mean? Oh, like, absolutely. If you were like my favorite Marvel movie of all time is um, uh, the what? Uh, which one is it? Just the Hulk. You know what I mean? Just like the, the, Hulk, the first yeah. one, the the <laughs> one. <laughs> The, it's the Eric Bana. Yeah, the Eric Bana. <laughs> if, you, if you tell me the Eric Bana, <laughs> Eric Bana Hulk is your favorite Marvel movie, I'm gonna oh, fucking man. punch you in the face. Oh, man. Hey man, that's fucked up. I know. I won't Keep punch you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against it. Eric Bana. Eric Bana shows up in a movie. I'm happy. Munich. Munich's a good movie. Munich's uh, great. <laughs> Munich is my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, well, I I could say I could I could even say Blade Two is my favorite Marvel movie. You know what I mean? That would still f- work. The original Daredevil with Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh, oh no, dude! E- Electra was better. Congratulations, Electra was That's better. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. All right, guys. Um, now is the next part of the outline. Oh, I was gonna say bonus comics. You guys just want to shout out any comic stuff real quick, or? Do you, do you any guys you guys have any comics any marvel comics like in your house yeah i got a bunch uh um, oh really there was a fun little quick story i don't know what happened and i there's a potential that this is a tragic story but uh i was oh, no. in an apartment in, in brooklyn and either the people next to us got evicted or someone died and uh they literally just put all of the people's stuff from the apartment out into the hallway and there was a huge section of like six or seven like big ass boxes of of marvel comics so i scored a bunch of them um wow and, yeah and i just i just ate for for months just watching or reading Marvel comics that were in there. tons of cool ones and then i took all the valuable ones that i didn't care about and sold them on amazon that was pretty good but, cool yeah but hopefully whatever happened to that person they're all right but whatever. hope he didn't die Exactly. And then I donated. I donated the rest of them when I when I moved to California because I didn't feel like taking all of them. But I still have the ones that I care about. So I have probably like, probably have like 150 comics in my bookshelf over there. Cool. Nice. Um, Miguel, you got any Marvel comics in there? I do not own any Marvel comics. Oh. Do you got any DC comics? Nope. Well, Just... no, I'm lying. I have a Batman Long Halloween. Oh, nice. I'm sure you have manga Batman. though. You got manga. I, I've I've never been big on um. I have more manga than I than I do comic books. Yeah. What's your what's and your the comic f- books I do have are are generally alternative comics. Okay. So I don't have a lot yeah, of nice. superhero comics. Yeah, or like Watch just it. like visual novels and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, like uh, what is it uh? What the I, name I got Watchmen. Lullaby. I don't um, know if you read that. It's what? Good. What'd you say? Arsenic Lullaby. No, nah, let me borrow it. It's just a fucked up comic. I I have the Watchmen one. You can borrow that one for a little bit if you want. I've read that before. I actually have that actually. I have the uh first issue of like the complete um Judge Dredd collection. I I need to finish reading that. Oh, nice. Um cool. I have some Marvel comics in here. The the only real one that like I like the only trade I have is Deadpool the uh uh god was the Way Waylon something collection fuck i can't remember the artist or the writer guy it's daniel way or david way it's daniel way i think is his name anyway I, I wouldn't know i think it's daniel I way wait i wait anyway i got I some kind of dead boy collection once I know it. it's just <laughs> it's got a lot of cool com- uh issues in there and one of them's like deadpool takes down wolverine and it's really fucking awesome he drops a fucking he drives straight up like cartoon drops a piano on Wolverine's head and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, but I did go to like some comic shops and I bought like just random issues of stuff. Like I got a one, uh, Spider-Man, um, uh, I have one issue of Spider-Man and Nightcrawler. Cool. And then a couple other just like random book, like just random issues of stuff that I got, like just from some box. <laughs> There you go. So I don't know, but comics are cool. I just don't read them that much. I really should read more. I want to read. Bone. I used to have a. 
I used to have um like the the Marvel digital comics app, and I used to I still I bet you if I log in I have a bunch of stuff on there, but I don't know. Nice. All right, let's get to the endorsements. Yeah. What do you guys endorse this week? Uh, you Go started to- off with uh, was it Drag Me to Hell? So why don't you? Yeah, okay. Drag me to hell. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm endorsing a movie called Drag Me to Hell. Rent it. <laughs> It's probably on Amazon or something. You can just rent it, man. Just watch, or just watch it. It's Sam Raimi, man, at his best. It's like Evil Dead, but like mixed with Jello pudding. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's messy. What? It's an even messier Sam Raimi. It's like if you thought Evil Dead was gross, watch Drag Me to Hell, please. It's so good. <laughs> uh, next person. Um, I'll go next. Uh, keeping in line with uh, Thor: Love and Thunder, even though I didn't see it. Taika Waititi's Jojo Rabbit. Oh, oh. If you have not seen that? Fucking amazing, so hilarious. <laughs> Great film. Great film. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, I I absolutely agree with that one. Gage. Um. All right. I am going to recommend. It's an app on I don't on iOS. I don't know if it is uh I don't know if it's on Android, but um uh-huh. it is called Steve. And essentially what it is I was gonna see if I could like, oh, I'm just gonna die though. Like a guy's name? Steve? Yeah, Steve. It's just called Steve. And I was gonna see if this comes up. It probably won't. Oh uh, I see it. <laughs> so like if you have an iPhone, if you swipe to the left when you're just on your home screen, there you go. Uh like there's little widgets there that like tell you about like the weather and there's like a search one and like your battery and th- and like so you can you can customize your widgets or whatever. Mm-hmm. This is a this is a game that is essentially just like the most basic of 2D platforms where all you can really do is jump. Mm-hmm. Um but you just swipe to the left and you can play it and you just collect coins and then those coins like let you unlock like different characters and stuff like that nice but it's just a really good little if you're just like really you know if you just need a little distraction you're like waiting in line at a food truck or something and, and you don't want to like you know open a full mobile game and like have everyone look and see that you're playing a mobile game uh or you know or do other stuff or doom school shit or whatever it's just a good way to kill like literally three minutes so steve on ios steve two things to check it out number one if you go to google chrome and you don't have internet connectivity, it's the same game. It's a little dinosaur nice. jumping over cactuses. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, similar. It's you, you don't get coins and unlock stuff. Number two, when I typed in Steve into the Android Play Store, <laughs> it came up with this game, Dino T-Rex, which clearly <laughs> is the same shit. So <laughs> just saying, you could still just go to the Play Store and type in Steve. You'll get the same shit. So okay. thanks, Gage. It's awesome. Yeah, good job. All right, guys. Uh, um, let's see. I think that's it. I think yeah, that's it for this it. week. That's, I gotta that's go. Enough. I'm tired. We all gotta go. I gotta pee. Uh, but let's. Pee. You guys ready to sing the Marvel theme? All right. Bye. See you. See you later.